música de negro de... <laughs> Hello Asimo and welcome at the RoboCup. Hello everybody, it is great to be here and I am very happy to meet so many new friends. Asimo says he is very happy to be here. Now Asimo speaks two languages. He can speak Japanese and English, but I think both for your comfort and for mine, I will stick to English for tonight. Now. You can see that Asimo is a walking humanoid robot. Are there people here who have built their own humanoid robot with arms and legs? Any of you built a humanoid robot? Yes, a few. They know how difficult it is to make a robot walk. But Asimo can actually do more. Asimo can even run. Now the difference between walking and running is very simple. When you run, there is always a moment when no feet are touching the ground. It's a very short moment when Asimo runs, but when you watch closely, you will see that there is a moment between the steps where both his feet are off the ground. Asimo, would you like to run for us, please? He always does a warming up. It's very important to stretch the muscles. Very well done by Asimo. <laughs> He's one of the first humanoids to actually run in this way. Now, of course, in the future, we want to use robots at home. We're already using robots at work. They're assembling cars, but they don't look like a human person. Maybe in the future we will have a robot, a robot at home, or maybe in a bar or in a restaurant that we visit. And we're gonna try this today. We're gonna demonstrate how Asimo can actually bring me a drink. Just imagine in the future you are in a bar or in a restaurant, you're sitting down, and at your table you find a smartphone. On this smartphone I will now order my drinks. For example, I will order two coffees and one orange juice. When I click send order, the order is sent to Asimo, he will understand this and he will bring me these drinks. I will now click on send order. I'm going to the bar. He's walking to the bar now. Mr. Barnett, I'm here to receive two coffee and orange juice for my friends. I'm receiving drink from my friends. Okay. I got it. Is this fine? I'll start the delivery to my friends. I'm going to the table. You can see that he is walking more careful now because he's holding the drinks, so it's a slower walk. I came for delivery. I brought him coffee and orange juice. He will put it down now. He has sensors in his wrist so he knows when it touches the table and when he can let go. Thank you very much, Asim. Now, as you have seen, he was walking very careful with his drinks. When he's holding a drink, he doesn't walk in his normal way, but a bit slower. This is because Asimo is one of the first humanoid robots that is able to walk in different ways. He can walk a bit faster, he can walk a bit slower, he can take big steps or small steps, and I think he wants to demonstrate this for us now. Asimo, can you walk for us, please? Normal steps, long steps, small steps, 
slow, small steps. And the long, low steps. Applause for the walk of Asimo. <laughs> now, of course, you're all robot builders yourself. You know that robots need sensors. They have to see around and they have to scan the environment to know where everything is positioned. Asimo has two eyes and the eyes are cameras. Because he has two eyes, he has a three-dimensional vision. So he has a notion of how far away objects are. But also, Asimo has on his belt laser sensors. He scans the ground that is before him because it's very important for him to know when there's an obstacle blocking his way. So he's constantly scanning the ground one meter to one meter and a half before him to know what is there. And also he has high sensor um, sound detectors. He sends out an ultrasound sound and it comes back and he knows how far away this is. These are the sensors that we all know from the cars. When we're parking a car, it will tell us how far away the car behind us is. The same sensors are installed in ASIMO, both on the front and on the back. Of course, I can tell you this, but maybe it's better to demonstrate this. I will now ask ASIMO to walk to the other side of the stage and I will block his way. And I hope that he detects me and doesn't just walk over me. Let's see what happens. Asimo, could you come to the other side of the stage, please? I can't proceed, since the path is being blocked. He saw me, he stopped, he told me that he couldn't proceed because his path was blocked, and then when I went out of the way, he continued his path, and now he's safely at the other side. A small applause again for Asim. <laughs> now I think we all agree that Asimo did a very good job so far, so maybe it's time to congratulate him. And you can con congratulate Asimo in the way you congratulate a human being, just by shaking his hand. So I'm gonna try to shake the hand of Asimo right now. Asimo, do you wanna shake hands? Let's shake hands. I can feel that he's pushing a bit. The motors are feeling my movement and following my movement. This is a risky thing to do, touching a humanoid robot, because they're very e easily pushed out of balance. And let's see what happens when I push a little too hard. Oops. <laughs> he detects it, he says oops, and he corrects with his feet. Oops. All completely automatic. Thank you, Asim. Now, Asimo is not working all the time by showing us everything he can do. Every now and then he likes to play. And as we have seen this week at the football pitches, robots like to play football. Even Asimo likes to play football. And lucky for you, I brought his favorite ball. This is Asimo's favorite ball. He's very happy now. And I will put it down. Now, I'm putting it down just before his left foot. He doesn't like this, he wants to play with his right foot. So he took a look, he's looking at the ball now, and he's gonna find the best position to take a shot with his good foot, with his right foot. There, he's moving now to the right position. You can kick the ball towards me now, Asimo. Football kick. Asimo, it was a very nice shot, but I don't think you're ready yet to play with the real football robots at the other side. A bit more training, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. To control Asimo, we use electric motors, like most of you did in your robots. For example, just to move the head, we need three motors, because we have three movements in the head. 
He can say yes with this movement. This is the yes motor. He can say no with this movement. And of course, when he visits India, he has to be able to say yes like this. And that's why we have a motor to move his head like this too. Now, there are many, many motors inside Asimo. Every wrist, every movement is a separate electric motor. Maybe it's a bit boring when I demonstrate every motor separately. And I think there's a very nice way to demonstrate all the motors and the perfect balance of Asimo in one little dance, maybe. Would you like to see Asimo dance? Asimo, can you dance for us? Music maestro. <laughs> did a very good job of demonstrating everything he can do to us here today and maybe it's I not. I want to dance some more. <laughs> you want to dance some more? This happens all the time. When we want to finish the presentation, he always wants to dance some more. Do you want to see some more dancing by Asimo? Yeah. Okay, you can dance some more, Asimo. <clears throat> of Asimo, one of the most advanced humanoid robots on this planet. I hope you enjoyed it. Now all you people, most of you young people, have been working with robots the entire week, maybe the entire year. And I would like to invite you, please continue this technical side of your studies. Please study hard, so maybe you can even build the next robot, a better robot than Asimo. Or maybe work on Asimo and make him a better robot. Give him brothers and sisters all around the world that he can play football with. So thank you very much, Asimo, for this presentation. It was a pleasure. Goodbye, everybody. Hope to see you soon.